Charles Rigo, Paris, France. We're finally moving to France. But of course, we're not gonna go there without our baby Nikki. But it's not an easy road to bring her with us to France. So I've decided to share my experience to help you other fur parents out there planning to travel or planning to move with their dogs and just don't know what to do. So I hope that this video can help all you other fur parents out there in figuring out how to travel with their babies. Watch this video and check our journey. actually did was process Nikki's papers. We know that it takes a bit of time, that's why we prepared ahead. In total, it took us about 7 months to process everything from the beginning until we flew out of Manila. The first thing we did was give Nikki a microchip from the vet and get her an anti-rabies shot right away. Take note that you need the microchip before giving the rabies shot. Otherwise, you'll have to administer the rabies shot again after you give your pet a microchip. After this, we waited for about a month to go back to the vet again and get a tighter test. So this is a test that is required for pets entering the EU. There can be different requirements per country, so make sure to check with your vet what's required. For this tighter test, this can only be analyzed by accredited clinics in Australia. So we had to wait for three months to get the results. And once we had the results, we needed to wait for three months more before we can actually proceed with the last steps. After three months, five days before our flight, we went to the vet and they administered the last medical checkup on Nikki. And they also wrote up all the documents that we needed to show to France in order for us to get in. So it included an EU medical health certificate, the things we needed to show to Bureau of Animal Industry in the Philippines to issue us an export permit. Basically, everything that we needed, they prepared for us. So we just had to pay for the fee. So this process in total took about one day. Once we have all the papers, we went to Bureau of Animal Industry ourselves in QC to get the exit permit for Nikki. This took about one hour for me. You can also opt for the vet to do it for you, of course, for a fee. And it might take a bit more time because they actually pull in applications together. If you're in a hurry, my best advice is to do it yourself. Because anyway, it's very straightforward and very easy. And once everything is done, that's when we booked our flight to France and we requested for the customer service to add our dog to our ticket. Because Nikki is an emotional support animal, we were lucky enough to have her with us in the cabin. But please do note that the airline only confirmed this to us 30 minutes prior to our check-in at the airport. So imagine all the stress that we had <laughs> up to the last minute. Anyway, that's everything. It's really long. It's a waiting game, but it's super worth it once you realize that you don't have to leave your baby behind. And look at how happy our dog is during the flight. now landed in Doha. We're transiting here before we go to Paris. We're here at the service dog area. Really nice so they can pee, poop, walk around here and eat. Overall, very, very good experience so far. 